start in July and from nowhere it starts to rain like hell and lightning the most powerful flash in the planet and I'm taking some pictures hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna try to make some photos with the most strongest flash ever lightning I never done this before so this is not really a tutorial it's more like a it's more like a vlog wish me luck so everyone I don't I don't know if you can hear me but I already did my exposure I am here at this um, strange place uh, but at least I don't have the rain on me so I gonna just show you my settings here so I am at 100 ISO f8 at 30 seconds so that means that the, the camera will be for 30 seconds there is a lot of, of lightning right now also what I did I put the camera and uh, multi shot high speed multi shot and the autofocus in manual of course another thing that, that I attached to my camera it's a remote trigger so what's gonna happen I'm gonna lock the button like so and because of the button is locked it will take 30 seconds photos every single time I have to move to the other side because um, there is some cables in front of me I think it's ugly so I have to be on the rain but um, it's okay because I am putting uh, actually this is at 6D there is another lightning there that I uh, I guess I can show you uh, nice so this is a 6d it's resistant to water and this lens is compatible with that but I won't take any risks I'm gonna use this plastic bag on here and try to protect as much as possible my camera and now I have to shoot on the rain so let's do this so here we are in the rain I don't know if you can hear me because there is a lot of noise um, I'm just in front of a, of a river oh another lightning yes! I'm just in front of a river and I don't know uh, if it's too noisy but uh, now you are wondering is this guy really crazy or a genius Lucky me, I like the rain. Well, everything was was going fine, and uh, my lens is starting to get way too much water. Um, so that's bad. I have to go to find some shelter and clean my lenses. are extremely uh, unpredictable so I thought to myself I want also a cool frame picture so yeah I went to this place where is this uh, naked boys statues we are in Europe so we have naked boys statues and uh, yeah my camera is shooting um, I, I am trying to avoid a Oh, another lightning. I'm avoiding um, way too much angle up, hoping that the lens won't get too much wet. And um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't bring an umbrella, maybe because I like rain too much. And uh, yeah, the, the lightning, it's 
less on less frequent right now but I hope I get a cool picture here and they are very random sometimes they pop up right there sometimes they pop up right there so totally unpredictable so I pointed my camera at one place and just hope to get lucky well just to be sure before I was leaving home I made a Google search of um, if it's dangerous being outside with a big chunk of metal called tripod uh, when it's when we have a lot of lightning and uh, the answer is yes so that's why I'm putting the camera taking pictures itself almost like a time-lapse and um, and I will try to be a, a, a bit far from it to be safe but the main problem of that I know that isn't safe being around trees and I have a lot of trees and light poles and uh, yeah yeah so the the rain it's stopping it's well it's already stopped and um, lightning did stop also so I guess for tonight we are done so some details uh, it's it's a good idea to use the ISO uh, lower as possible because lightning bolts are extremely bright okay so go low on the ISO also I am using f8 and I can go lower if I see that the, they are way too bright I can down on the on the aperture like f14 or something like that but for me f8 did work properly so the shutter speed won't change much uh, on the look of the of the lightning because the lightning it's really really fast keeping that in mind I am using 30 seconds because uh, it's the good exposure for my city that I am photographing right now your shutter speed w may vary well everyone it's getting late and um, and I guess the storm it's finished and it's getting a little bit cold and as I am <laughs> wet it's not a good idea staying outside like so so I gonna go home take a nice shower the last picture unfortunately I wasn't that lucky um, I had some one or two maybe cool pictures this evening and uh, yeah uh, the best way to protect yourself when it's raining lightning bolts is uh, being inside of a car actually so that is a cool idea you can put yourself inside of a car what I did today it was quite stupid uh, honestly especially that the lightning was really close so also it helps if you use a heavy-duty tripod heaviest better because sometimes you have a lot of rain also some tripods like mine this here has a hook where you can put some weight and will be even better if you have a lot of wind drop a like if you learn something comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this I'm Miguel until next time <laughs> see ya